So we're taking this ride to the uh, main gate because Kapoi no Bakta is so in there. <laughs> We rode a local train from Kyoto to Osaka, and the trip was only 30 minutes. Upon arrival at Osaka Station, I was literally blown away. So we still have less than 2 hours before our check-in time, so we're going to explore the nearby buildings and some restaurants. We're hungry, haven't eaten lunch yet. <laughs> So we finally checked in here at the Michiwi Garden Hotel in Osaka and I'm going to show you a room. It's so amazing. Welcome to our room. This is the mirror, obviously. It's the washing room. I'm going to show you the bathroom. Oops, sorry about that. So this is the toilet with the automated uh, bidet. Amazing. And this is the shower room. Turn on the light. There. Ta da! Bathtub with shower. Da -da -da -da. And the best part of this room the bed and the view. Absolutely amazing. So we're on our way to uh, Dotonbari and we're going to ride the train, obviously. And just take a look at my view. This is a river, it's so clean. Everything in Japan is clean and there's no dust. Navigating around Osaka is not that difficult compared to what I've experienced in Tokyo two years ago. Okay, so Dorambori is really overwhelming. So many people, so many lights, and my mom's wearing red. <laughs> Holy cow. It's really humid, but um, I like this place. Dotonbori is one of the principal tourist destinations in Osaka, Japan. Historically a theater district, it is now a popular nightlife and entertainment area characterized by its eccentric atmosphere and large illuminated signboards. One of the area's most prominent features, a billboard for confectionery company Clico, displaying the image of a runner crossing a finishing line, is seen as an icon of Osaka within Japan. The adventure continues as we explore the colorful history of Osaka, Japan. Hello, it's a bright sunny day here in Osaka and it's so humid and hot, I'm fanning myself. <laughs> anyway, we're off to another castle. It's an Osaka castle, well obviously. And uh, we're going to see whether if it's uh, more majestic than the White Castle or not. So, come on, let's go! Osaka Castle is one of Japan's most famous landmarks and it played a major role in the unification of Japan during the 16th century of the Azuchi Momoyama period. The castle grounds, which cover approximately 60,000 square meters or 15 acres, contain 13 structures that have been designated as important cultural assets by the Japanese government. We're taking this uh, tram ride and we thought it's free but it's not. <laughs> in pop culture, Osaka Castle was featured in The Amazing Race Season 20. We're going to Omeda Sky Garden to climb in the observation deck to have a 360 panoramic view of the whole Osaka. And I'm pretty much excited because it's an all glass observatory deck. <laughs> For those who are acrophobic, it's going to be hell. <laughs> Good thing I'm not acrophobic. The Omeda Sky Building is one of the city's most recognizable landmarks. It consists of two 40 story towers that connect at their two uppermost stories with bridges and an escalator crossing the wide atrium-like space in the center. Finally, it's colder up here, so we're going to the 39th floor to the observatory deck. And the ticket costs 1,500 yen per person, so that's roughly 700. The building features a rooftop observatory 
the Floating Garden Observatory, as well as an underground market that attempts to recreate the atmosphere of Osaka in the early 20th century. Okay, so I really thought that the floor is made of glass, but no, it's made of concrete. But nonetheless, the view is really good. <laughs> We're here at the top. It's so hot, but I don't care because we don't have this back home. For nine days, I've come to realize that Tokyo may have more money, and Kyoto may have more culture. Nagoya being stylish, but Osaka? It has the biggest heart. Okay, so I'm currently here at Kasa International Airport, still waiting for a flight to Manila. We still have like four hours or five hours to kill. <laughs> anyway, um, my nine day trip to Japan is about to end. If you love this video, don't forget to click the subscribe and thumbs up button. I guess this is it. See you next time on my travel video vlog. I just Miga. See you next time. Bye bye.